Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Aris back with another video today. It's super cold out. You can see my breath. My girlfriend and I going to the bins. If you guys are new to the channel, I did change the name to Forward Flips. But anyway, stay tuned. Let's see if we can find some cool stuff to flip for a profit. If you guys don't know what the bins is, it's basically a place where you can pay by the weight. It's a big thrift store. It's where all the Goodwill stuff that doesn't sell or if they have excess inventory, they all get sent to the Goodwill clearance centers or the Goodwill bins. You can't even believe how many items I'll get for so cheap. So most of the items in there are 99 cents. The VHS tapes and the books are 25 cents each and the shoes are $1.49 a pound. So I'm really hoping that I can find some good stuff today, digging through a ton of junk. Anyways, let's jump into the video. So I just got to the bins. I'm not expecting to find anything just yet until they actually do a switch out because this is all the old stuff that has been picked through from yesterday. But if I do find any clips right now in the beginning, I'll show you guys. Chevy Silverado green truck. It's kind of cool. You never know what you can find, even at the bottom of the pick food bin. Ow, that hurts. This thing's sharp. What is this spooky sound? This looks old. Let's look this up together. $18.99 brand new. There's no way. Has this thing ever sold before? Like I said, you can find stuff in the bottom of a pick through bin. Look at this thing. Spooky sounds. Compact disc. Probably going to cost me like 25 cents because of how much it weighs. So this thing is going to be pretty cheap. Good start off to the day at the bins. <laughs> what is this? Apollo 300 watt switching power supply. 34.99 brand new. Are there any sold pumps? It's kind of heavy. No, it's only ever sold new, so I'm gonna pass on that item. A Christmas witch. I've never seen this before. Normally, I would go through everything afterwards, but I didn't even grab a cart because they haven't done an actual switch. I know some of this stuff is picked through, so I'd rather stay away from it for now. Uh, 470 plus shipping. I mean, if it's actually sold for 25 cents into four bucks, it adds up in the long run. Even though it's not a big profit, all you have to do is ship this in a bubble mailer, but there's only ever been one sold, so I'm gonna pass on that. Ooh, Rough Light Center, you guys remember this game? This game was awesome. How much are these going for? Well, it's brand new. Really, only five bucks? I mean, still, five bucks it weighs nothing, so it's gonna go real quick. Everyone loves this game. I mean, I'll pick it up. I know it's gonna sell super fast. Imagine if there's like a gift card in here, it says Amazon. Nope. Dang, I should have grabbed the cart, because then I could pick it with two hands. No, I'm not gonna do this with one hand. Why there's so many basketball hoops here today at the bins? This would be a dope thumbnail. I guess dunking at the good old bins. Let me get a photo. Let me get a photo of like dunking at the bins or something. Dude, this is a sand. What is this? I don't know. I don't really know much about that. I need to put that as a thumbnail. Like dunking at the good old bins. Some stupid like that. Or I don't know why I use a football, but whatever. Anyways, now that I had my little bit of fun, let's see if I can find anything else here. Empty Timberland box. So I just found this bin full of media, and I'm gonna pick this DVD up. It's not for eBay, it's actually gonna be for Amazon. Only gonna be like 20 cents. On Amazon, the lowest copy is 12.88. I'm gonna be making like $6 on this after fees, but I'm not currently actually approved to sell on DVDs, but I have a whole box full of DVDs at home to list in the future on Amazon once they get ungated and approved. So I just looked this one up, and it's not worth anything, even though it's sealed on eBay or Amazon. This one's like old, so I thought it might be worth something, but it also wasn't. And then here we just have a real classic movie. I'm not gonna buy this but this is a great movie. It just looks like a bunch of Christmas junk over here. I'm not trying to hurt my hands. I already have a cut from the other day. If you guys saw the last video, cut myself with a knife. You could definitely tell this was from Marshalls or Home Goods because this type of sticker clearance. What is this? Notorious big ready to die this is interesting normally i wouldn't even scan it look up a dvd or a cd like this but if it's from biggie i think i should just look it up quickly and see cheapest copy right now it says 9.55 no one actually has a picture so 11.90 free shipping you can probably get seven dollars plus shipping on this probably pay 15 cents on it so score this lucy's winter carnival color form set what is this that would be worth more it's not. If you guys didn't know this, you could actually get bubble wrap here for free. It basically doesn't weigh anything anyways though. But you can get bubble wrap in boxes for free here at my bins. I'm not sure if at your bins, you just have to ask. Oh my god, here's the basketball. Alright, hold up. Maybe we have to redo this thumbnail. Where's the thing? Where's the, where's the basketball thing I have? 
I know it was over oh, here we go. Alright. I can't believe I'm about to be so out of here. I think we'll do something like this. What is this? What is this? A hot dog? Does anybody want a hot dog? Gee, the things you could find at the bins are just ridiculous. This thing, I'm pretty sure my dad had this when I was younger. I don't know if it's worth anything. I'm not even gonna like bother picking it up because I don't see a brand, but this is pretty cool to hold your poker chips in. So I just found this right here and it would normally have been a good find. A little heavy, so it'd probably weigh like, it'd probably cost like five to six bucks, but I'm actually gonna pass on it because it doesn't have any of the extra parts or the charger. If it had the charger though, I would definitely pick it up even without the extra accessories. So what's this? It's leather, it's really nice. Except for a brand. Oh, here we go. Latico. NJUSA. Let's take a look up online. Right, so I moved it to another bin where no one was in, and I looked it up, and they're selling for like twenty dollars plus shipping. It probably costs like three to four bucks. Let me check some sold comps for that. Let's see, twenty-five to eighteen, thirty. I mean, forty. Look at this one. This one sold for forty. I don't know. It's tough because why aren't the ones that are at $20 selling right now? All right, well, I'm not gonna lie. This thing is in great shape. And look at the inside. It is so clean. It is squeaky clean. Just has like one paper clip. So definitely gonna pick this up. Gonna take a chance on it. If, even if it costs like a few bucks, definitely gonna have to pick it up. Try to sell for like maybe 20 to 30. Another sealed DVD. 548 free shipping on eBay, but Take a look on Amazon on this. Look at this, $24.99. So I'm gonna be holding out on this one for Amazon. Hey, this is new. This is brand spanking new. This is crisp. Let's take a look at this one on Amazon. $10.60 on Amazon, so I'd probably make like five bucks. I don't agree with this, but sometimes Goodwill picks through the bins, picks out some good shoes, and they individually price them. So you wouldn't believe how much these Doc Martens were worth. All right, so this is everything from the first haul, but I can't leave without asking how much these are. So I'm gonna ask at the register because they had them behind the counter, so that means they're individually priced. Okay, so I have this, okay, I clearly can't stack properly. <laughs> so I have this, and then this shoe was from up there. Yeah, I'll go get it. Thank you. Yep. How much is that anyway? I'm gonna find out. All right, thank you. Let me know. Yeah, so just let me know. If they're overpriced, I won't get them, but just let me know. Okay, Five zero. okay I'll pass. 50 at Goodwill for Doc Martens. Jesus Christ, Goodwill. Who do you think I am? $50 for Doc Martens at Goodwill? Oh my goodness. $50? You're breaking $50. the bank at Goodwill over here. Huh? I said you're breaking the bank at Goodwill over oh, here. Oh, they were more expensive before. We had other ones that were oh, like really? $5. Do you know how expensive Doc Martens are? Yeah, it's a huge size though, so that's tough. It is a huge size. So that's tough to... So that's cheap, 50 bucks. Dang, this is muddy over here. But just spent $4.21, and I should be conservatively making 75 to 80 bucks on that haul right there. Those Doc Martens, they were dick ridiculous. I mentioned the bins doing a switch out before, but I know a lot of you guys don't really know what that is. So basically, every two to three hours or so, the bin switches about half their entire store. So basically, they take out all of the old bins with old junk from half the store, and they'll go and replace it with new bins that are filled with new inventory from the back. And basically, everyone is like hectic during this time. People will push you. It's honestly kind of ridiculous how it is sometimes, but you just kind of got to fight through it, try to dig through all the junk and try to find stuff to flip online for a profit. Sometimes it could be really good. Sometimes it could be really bad. But the thing is, you never know what you're going to get. So let's continue on with the video. Let me take the lens. Tissue slippers. Kind of dirty. Esports resort being there. So this is actually kind of funny. I bought this bread maker about five months ago at Salvation Army, so I didn't end up picking another one because I haven't even listed that one. This is burning sealed. Sealed to HS. These are dope. Burning sealed. Ocean's water, let's take a look afterwards. No way. There's no way this is sealed. There's no way I just found this. 61.69, brand new sealed. $65 on Amazon. Let's go. Look at this. It's one other sealed one. What is this? Coach? It's too dirty though. Found a ton of hats, Emma. I know the first thing I went to. Why would you like? Because there was a pair of Jordans, and then by the time I get there, I missed it by one second because I couldn't grab them in time. Dang, that's a shame. All right. 
These are all three to four bucks, so we're gonna call some more. Oh, you found some of these? Yeah, they're only like three, four bucks. I grabbed like five. I was like, oh, maybe these could be really yeah, good. I but then they ended up being like nothing. Not worth anything, nope, not at all. Just toss them back. Can I see it? You found some Lamborghini Mercy? I think that's Lamborghini, right? This Cadillac. Oh. <laughs> 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 I thought this microscope set would be worth a lot more than it is, but it's not. Look at this thing. It like, I thought it was gonna be like really expensive, but it's not. It's only worth like 15 bucks. Sad times. All right, I'm about to check out. I'll let you guys know how much I paid out with the register and I'll show you guys everything in the cart afterwards. All right, so I have all that and then just one VHS tape. All right guys, so I didn't do a recap of the first haul, so I'm gonna do a recap of the last two hauls all together in one shot. So I spent $4.21 on the one and $3.32 on the other. And this pile right here, everything is gonna be like five to $10 plus shipping on top. Notorious Big CD, Wii Sports Resort, this CD, the Medallion DVD, Pocahontas VHS, and two more DVDs right here. Also picked up Left Right Center, classic game. And then this pile right here are the bigger money makers. These two DVDs right here on Amazon are like 20 to $25. So I should be making like 15 to 20 after fees. Right here, this is the biggest score of the day. Found a sealed Dormax Dance Dance Revolution for the PS2. This thing is kind of heavy. I can't believe how heavy this thing is. But anyways, pretty solid find. I can't believe I found this at the bins. And then next up, we have the Spooky Sounds CD. Sold in the past for like 15 to 20 dollars plus shipping so i'm gonna estimate that i'm probably gonna get that much and then this sega sonic cd sonic schoolhouse it sold for about like 25 to 30 dollars in the past so i'm gonna estimate probably to 20 to 25 dollars plus shipping on top for the cd and i almost forgot to mention too i picked up these o'neill board shorts they're the ones with the wax comb inside of the pocket right here and i've sold these in the past should be able to get like at least 15 to 20 dollars plus shipping so i calculated everything and i should be able to conservatively get $220 plus shipping on all this stuff and keep in mind I only spent $7 so far today so hopefully they're going to do another switch soon and I'll show you guys everything for the next haul completely missed this leather bag too I should be able to get like $30 to $40 plus shipping so let's just conservatively say like $20 on this bag so that brings the total up to $240 for the day so far So I just found this really nice Adidas hoodie. It has like a couple like small stains, but I think that if I just put it in the wash real quick, it will all come out. So it should cost me like a dollar, dollar fifty, and I should be able to sell for at least fifteen to twenty bucks on my card, maybe more because of the colorway. But I guess we'll find out. At least fifteen bucks plus shipping on that. Okay, give this a quick look up. Good roll was originally selling it for six dollars, which is ridiculous. I bet you no one picked this up because they didn't think it was sealed because it looks completely used. Obviously, it's all the damage on the box, but let's take a look on Amazon. So this would be like ten dollars after for fees on Amazon, super lightweight, probably gonna cost me a quarter. I'm gonna pick this one up too. This is pretty beat up. The other sneaker was in the other bin over there. KDs, these are also beat up. It sucks how beat up these shoes are. How much money you could make if these were in great shape. Anybody want some fog machine fog solution? Well, you can find it right here. Ooh, another sealed DVD. Gotta take a look at that one. What is this one? Tide. This looks interesting. I'll look this up too. Yeah, both of these are not worth it, so we're gonna pass on those too. This is just me going through all the pick-through items. I'm not sure if I'm gonna find anything else, but I'm gonna keep looking. Spend a dollar and fourteen cents on those two items, and I should be able to turn it into like twenty to twenty-five. <laughs> Like 
a decent cart full, but I have a feeling that most of us I'm not even gonna get. And the shoes are all like single pair. That's fine, okay, that feels pretty good shape. All right, guys, let's do a breakdown of everything that I got. So first and foremost, this guitar here, guitar, it's not in the best of shape, but if I can get it to work, it should be around $60 per shipping. It also includes the dongle, so maybe I can get that up to 70. Just depends on if it works and if I can get it all cleaned up. Even for parts only with the dongle, it should still be like $30 to $40 plus shipping. So I guess we could say conservatively $30 on this, $5 on this. Unfortunately, this is the bins for you. A bunch of single pairs of shoes. Look at these Heelys. These are fresh. If I had the matching pair, I probably would be able to get like 40 to 50 plus shipping. Then a single Nike, single Nike, single pair of Vans right here. Another single Adidas shoe. These are pretty fresh. Then next up, I found these Echo Biome. These are actually like a decent pair of shoe to look out for. I started looking up comps and I saw them at like 40 to $70 on these. And if you guys see closely right here, I'm not sure if you could see that, but it says yak leather. So if we were at like 30 conservatively, it could be like 60 to 70, but 35. So we're at 30 35 between those two items. Let's add 40 bucks on these, so 75. $10 on this Titleist hat, 85. 15 to 20 on this real tree hat. It's brand new with tags, so I should be able to, get, let's just say 100 now. 10 on this calculator, 110. Five on this radio. 115 10 on this dvd 125 and then like 5 to 10 on this family guy set it's brand new sealed always keep an eye out on like dvd sets but this is only volume 5 the ones that are complete series tend to sell for a lot more money so let's just say we're up to like 130 now and then i should be able to make like five dollars after fees on this madden 13 it's complete in box and always make sure the discs aren't too scratched up which i did check before but Jeez. Okay, I might have to replace this case. I have plenty of replacements at home, but this is not too bad. So, five dollars after fees, one thirty-five, and then this game is like fifteen dollars. It's called Ninety Nine Nights for the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. So we're gonna be picking that up. Then I have these pieces of clothing right here. I don't know if I'm gonna get them or not. What is it? Champion. I'm probably. I'm not gonna pick that up. I don't need Champion. And then this is Lauren Ralph Lauren, but I probably won't pick this up either. If it was Polo Ralph Lauren, I definitely would. But since it's not, I'm not going to get that. So conservatively, we should be able to turn this like maybe 10 bucks at the most, I think, into like $150 plus shipping. And that's conservative. And that all depends on if the Guitar Hero guitar works. Because if it works, that's going to be worth more money. But pretty solid haul. I didn't think I did too great. But all in all, all these items do add up. I just spent a total of 813 cents yeah so eight dollars and 13 cents for all of these items i'll be able to easily get that back on one of the games or the dvds or even one of the hats so solid score i really thought it was going to be really bad because of all the single pairs of shoes that i found in the beginning but you know what at the bins you never know what you're going to find so in total today i spent around 16 dollars and i should be able to conservatively turn it into around 400 dollars and maybe even 400 to 450 turning 16 dollars into 400 dollars is absolutely insane so i really did score big today if you guys haven't already I would really appreciate you guys subscribing to this channel. It would really help a lot. We've grown a lot in the past couple of weeks. I guess I'm just going to throw this in as a little bonus clip before I go. So I was just using the bathroom. As soon as I walked out, I saw this book. It looked kind of interesting. My Crowd. It's a like hard cover book. And I looked it up on Scoutly or on Amazon. And I should be able to make $20 on this book after fees. So pretty sweet. So it's the next day and I got a haircut. I asked my barber. I was like, hey man, can you give me a fade? He's like, of course man, I can give you a fade. This is the freshest haircut that I've ever gotten in my whole entire Entire life. So shout out to my barber. So here in New Jersey, it actually snowed today. So I'll show you guys a little bit of snow on the ground, literally all over my windshield, just decided to come outside. I was like, you know what? Let me get some nice fresh lighting. And then I saw my car and I was like, oh my God, I have to show everyone that I have snow all over my car. That wraps up the video for today. If you guys did enjoy the video, you guys already know what to do and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.